in this video I will uh, demonstrate how can one export the results of Sparkle queries uh, from Protégé. Um, I opened um, Pizza Ontology from the web and this is uh, this is the well-known Pizza Ontology which defines uh, pizzas pizza bases, pizza toppings, and so on. Uh, I activate the Sparkle Query tab, window tabs, Sparkle Query. We have this tab. This comes with a sample a Sparkle Query, which uh, defines some prefixes and a very simple uh, select query uh, uh, we select all the subjects and objects of the triples uh, connected by a RDFS subclass of a predicate in the ontology. We execute that um, and we get this result set. As you can see, some of the objects are actually complex class expressions, not just name classes, like let has spiciness some mild, because this is in the ontology. Uh, this is how the uh, uh, ontology is uh, encoded as triples. So if I want to see um, only only classes as the objects, then I can modify my queries uh, saying uh, object should be RDF uh, uh, type uh, uh, class. And I also want just the distinct ones because ontology um, repeats some of those. And this is what I get. And this is a results. Uh, the result set is basically in a table format. We have two columns, the subject columns and the object columns. We each of the columns uh, corresponds uh, corresponds to the to the variable selected, uh, and. Uh, and uh, I can select uh, different rows uh, uh, in this result set one by one or, or multiple rows with the mouse or, or with control and mouse click I can select individual rows or control A selects everything and then with control C I copy it in the clipboard and then I can con with control V I can uh, copy it in a uh, in a text editor. I use Notepad++ but you can use any text text editor and if you don't want to see the the full IRIs uh, you can uh, you can simply replace these uh, prefixes with with, uh, with nothing and then you have a different view on it. Um, uh, something to be noted is uh, that the Sparkle Query uh, uh, plugin works on the asserted uh, knowledge in the ontology, uh, all the asserted statements, uh, um, all the asserted triples basically. And uh, there is another uh, Sparkle uh, plugin called S a Snap Sparkle plugin, uh, which is a view. Um, it doesn't come with its own tab. It's it's a view in the uh, uh, query views snap spark uh, query, and uh, we can create a new tab for it. Um, we can call it whatever we want. Uh, spark, uh, for example, and uh, we can drop this view window views query views snap spark uh, query. We can drop it in this new tab. This is a kind of a more advanced Sparkle query, which works on the um, inferred uh, class, uh, on the inferred knowledge. Um, it needs uh, a reasoner uh, to work with, and it comes it comes with a different uh, uh, sample query that selects all the classes in the ontology and uh, optionally uh, the their labels, uh, RDFS labels. Uh, and if I execute this, this is the result set that I get. Uh, again, this is a table uh, with the two uh, with the two uh, columns, and 
uh, I can uh, select uh, individual rows or all the rows and copy it with Control C uh, to a clipboard to my clipboard and then I can copy it in a new file. So this is how you export uh, uh, result set from Sparkle Query. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this and you can make use of it.